I promised my sister that I'm going to return, otherwise she would have never left me. But I'm not going to return. He said, he promised him that he's going to come back. Where is he? Abu Qadam started to cry. And he said to him, Fatima, your brother says, Assalamu alaikum to you. And he says, that soon you're going to meet him in Jannah, insha'Allah. She said, Jannah? Did he die? Abu Qadam said, Yes, but he died a noble cause before he could finish this word. Fatima took a very deep breath and she fell unconscious to the ground. He came to pick her up, but the mother raced to her and she said, Leave her. And she took her daughter away and into the room. Abu Qudama knocked and knocked, but it was too late. He heard the mother inside crying and saying, Oh my Lord, my husband died for your cause and he is in Jannah, insha'Allah. My son, I have sacrificed him for you, Ya Allah, and I have raised him. Please do not, do not deny me my presence and my unity with him in Jannah. And now my daughter has passed away and followed her brother. Ya Allah, my husband, my son, and my daughter, they are all to you. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. To Allah we belong, and to him we shall return. O oh Allah, guarantee me a place in Jannah with them. O oh Allah, unite me with them. And she began to cry until her voice faded away into the darkness. Abu Qudama kept knocking but she would not open for him. He said, so I left her. And I went away. Until this day, my dear companions, the story has remained unexplainable to me. And I do not know, this, this, the, I don't, I do not know what happened after that. These, my dear brothers and sisters, were the stories of those who fight sincerely in their hearts towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These were the ones who sincerely in their hearts struggled for Jannah. Do we struggle for Jannah in any way? Are we able to sacrifice something, my dear brothers and sisters, in any way? La wallah. I see that a lot of us think about themselves before others. A lot of us think about our needs and our stomachs and our pockets before any other people. I see even more than that. Some of the Muslims today who claim to be Muslims, they say, we take riba and usury from the bank because we are in need. In need for what? They want to buy an expensive house with riba. They want to reach that objective of a hundred thousand dollars. This is their necessity. And they say they are in need thinking about the shaitan ways. We see people who do not even think about others, who do not even think about others anymore. Don't donate even a date a date from their pockets for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you are filling up petrol, forget about filling up twenty five dollars. Fill up twenty dollars and leave that five dollars in donation for Sabilillah. When you buy your cigarettes, forget about paying for a cigarette today, for a box today. Leave it till tomorrow and rather put that money for donation. Donate to the causes that are ongoing, an ongoing charity, ongoing knowledge, which will benefit you in your grave. Places which encourage this and work towards it. Think about your brothers before you think about yourselves. This is the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be, my dear brothers and sisters. In these stories there are examples. And there were wisdoms. I have left you with these wisdoms and with these examples. Allah says, فَقْصُصِلْ قَصَصَ And I end it with this. Allah says, فَقْصُصِلْ قَصَصَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ فَقْصُصِلْ قَصَصَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى And so relate the stories to them so that they may contemplate and think Not stories that are lies but stories of true fact that will make you come closer to Allah and into Jannah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unite us in Jannah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us one of those who truly desire Jannah. For if you do not desire Jannah, how can you enter it? We ask Allah to save us from hellfire. Allahumma, save us from hellfire. Allahumma, we seek refuge in you from your anger. Allahumma, we ask you to let us unite and drink from the hawd, from the fountain of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh Allah, make us one of those whom the prophets and the martyrs, 
whom the prophets and the martyrs will envy and be jealous of on the day of judgment. They are the ones who are mutahabun. They are the ones who love each other for the sake of Allah. Our Allah, let us be on high towers on the day of judgment by our love for one another, through our love for one another. Allah, Allahumma la tamna'ana al-jannah. Allahumma la tamna'ana اللهم لا تمنعنا نهر الكوثر ولا تمنعنا السلسبيل ولا تمنعنا تسنيم ولا تمنعنا الفردوس الأعلى اللهم آمين I thank you for listening my dear brothers and sisters سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته